Hi there, Sean Clancy here and uh, I've got a proposition for you, a really great deal. I'm offloading my previous rig and that rig consists of a Pod 500X multi-effects board and a Line 6 DT50 valve tube amp designed by amp guru Reinhard Bogner of famous Bogner amps, you know those are really good amps. This rig is gig ready. I'm selling it for only 750 bucks and if you go buy the, the Pod 500X brand new, it's going to cost at the rock shop $899. Um, this rig, this uh, Pod sorry, is in very good condition. Just, you know, it's just as good as new. So that's a good uh, good price. The, the DT50 uh, I bought for 1100 It's a really great amp. Uh, the pod series, as a matter of fact, um, in my experience, because I've had like the uh, the you know the bean pod, I've had the pod XT, I've had the pod X3, and now I've got the line six uh, pod 500X HD. You know, um, they've all got a little bit of digital fizz to them, and uh, that's always annoyed me a little bit. But uh, when you combine the DT50 valve amp with the pod. And they do communicate each other with each other through a microphone, just a microphone cable. Uh, it really gets rid of that digital fizz and gives you a really warm tube sound. Uh, so you get all the um, great multi effects of the pod. You get all the uh, great amp tones uh, from the tubes. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really great combination. Uh, you may be wondering why am I selling this stuff? Well, it's simply because I now have a Fractal Audio X8, which of course is $2,000 New Zealand, $2,200, and uh, it's in a different class, you know. Uh, I know that the Pod uh, 500X is the model just before the Helix came out. Uh, both the Helix, the Line 6 Helix and this Pod work very well through a link system, one microphone cable from the unit to the amp and they you can change the bass and treble and stuff and they'll update each other you can do it on both the, the amp or the pod it's really good um, in that amp over there there are four different kind of circuitries for voicings and uh, that'll give you a Fender sound a Vox sound a Marshall sound and a Mesa Boogie sound so there are actually four different um, what would you say? Yeah, they basically um, there's four different circuits in there. I don't know how how to better explain it. Four different voicings. So combined with the Pod 500X, you get all these different combinations. Okay, I got a little list of uh, what's in the DT50. Man, it's a hot day today. I'm sweltering. Of course, right now uh, you guys in America have blizzards. Over, us, over here in New Zealand, we've got uh, the middle of summer. I'm not bragging, I'm sweating. I need to change, I need to chuck the washing out. But anyway, I digress. Here is what we have in the DT50. State of the art, HD modeling technology. Reinhard Bogner's most flexible tube design. Two 12AX7 preamp tubes. Two EL34 paramp tubes. Selectable 25 watts of 50 watt outputs. You can just pull the master volume out and that does that. Uh, select, uh, yeah, simple and straightforward two channel design. Each channel has drive, bass, mid treble, presence, reverb, and channel volume. And like I said, they, the pod and the amp update each other when you do that, when you change those things. Master volume, high and low inputs. Reconfigurable analog components, class A, class AB, pentode, triode. Complete one-touch analog reconfiguration via channel select switch. L6 link in through connection for pod HD integration. That's what this rig has. Uh, XLR direct out with cabinet simulation and ground lift switch. The pod itself actually doubles as a multi-channel audio device. So you don't need any other devices. You can just plug straight in and record. And it's, you can actually model two different amplifiers at one time. That's really good because you, can, uh, you can't you can do that on the fractal. Sad to say. The pod itself has got over five, so 100 
plus studio effects and pod effects. Uh, pod stomp effects. Hmm. I'll never make a newscaster. It has USB editing software and it's really easy to use. I'm also going to throw in for free my Learn to Burn uh, manual, the Guitar Speed manual. That's my book. Uh, that's free for you as well. Um, so, yeah, 750 bucks, it's all yours. Let me uh, show you some of the sounds now. Okay, let's just quickly discuss the gear setup. I've got my pot on the floor here. I've got the uh, DC-50 over there. I'm running a Ingve Malmsteen guitar Fender Stratocaster. Um, I'm actually, I've got a microphone on the amp. It's uh, off access. It's a Shure 57, you know, the industry standard. Uh, and that's just pointed at the speaker. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's turn the amp on. And let's show you the Fender sound. So, um, it's got that really typical Fendi glassy sound, which I like. the effects I've got the four bottom rows of the buttons uh, for the four different sounds and at the top I've got like effects units so let's let's check on a, um, a like a delay try the um actually did you notice that when I, I switched those over and the delay kept trailing off which is a really cool cool feature this is a tremolo which i use a lot in the church band um it's got that grill country sound Not only are the amp sounds good, but the effects are really good too as well. Uh, let's uh, turn that off and let's um, try out the chorus. There's heaps of modulation effects, the different ones. This is just a standard one. And then, last of all, I've got a, a bit of a bit of a crunch. I've added a bit of overdrive. All right, hopefully that didn't clip. Uh, so when I add that, that kind of delay, I've got that. Um, so I've got the bit of overdrive. I've also got um, a little bit of a delay. the next channel this is a vox you know it's got a it's kind of almost breaking up kind of sound you know between distortion and it's a really good crunch sound Uh, breakup sound. Um, I don't know if I've got some delay. Nope. But I've got a bit of overdrive here. A bit of reverb on here. So, so it's got that really sweet. Um, it's quite nice for solo. Sound. 
The next sound is the Marshall. So let's step on that. More gain. dry JM uh, 800 sound, uh, Marshall 800 sound. I've got some uh, effects here, I've got of course our, our delay. Which is pretty, pretty responsive to the pick. Uh, we've got also our, um, our distortion, like our boost to give it a bit more juice. go to the last one which is um, the Mesa Boogie sound. This is the, uh, the fourth voicing and this sound, especially when you have it cranked up and you're working the tubes um, a lot, just has a real snarl to it. I was playing at uh, the performing arts school student recitals and I had this sound dialed up and uh, we're playing a No Doubt song and when I hit the chorus these chords just snarled out of the amplifier and I thought, damn, I'm selling this? Well, I wasn't selling it at that point, but yeah, be sad to see the sound go, but of course I've got a fractal video. So. so this is a Soldano sound. a delay of course um, and of course the overdrive I'm using A minor there. Oh. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so that's the four different voicings. Remember, this rig is only 750 bucks. It can be yours. Uh, I should mention, of course, that it is pickup and Tauranga only. There are a few things I want to mention about it, which um, probably... To, that affects the price why I put it so low. 
The DT50 has a few idiosyncrasies. Uh, it's missing a rubber foot. That's very easy to replace. The other thing is, um, from time to time, very occasionally, if you turn the standby off and then you turn it back on again, uh, with the amp running, of course, you won't get any sound. So you have to kind of turn it off for 10 minutes, restart it up again, and usually it'll work. So what I do is when I do a gig after I've done the sound check, I don't turn the standby off. I keep the amp on. So I know that when I pick up my guitar, I've got all these great sounds ready for me to use. Well, I had all these great sounds ready for me to use. So, uh, but apart from that, it's a great rig. Fantastic. I'll, I'll throw in the microphone cable so you can just pick it up, uh, take it home, uh, use the edit software, which is the best way to edit the pod, and... Uh, get a cranking. Now hopefully my neighbours won't kill me because I've had this going full ball for a while while I did the sounds and this video. So um, if I'm actually dead before you pick the rig up, the deal's off. <laughs> Alright, so uh, that's about it for today. Um, see you later.